Good morning, everyone. Today I wanted to talk to you about something um, that's very important uh, to all pig parents. It is feeding your pot-bellied pig. As you can see, Sylvester's over there waiting. They're all very hungry, so I'm not going to take too long. But proper nutrition and feeding is the cornerstone of any good pig parent. It is extremely important, and improper nutrition um, and amount of food is uh, the lead, leading cause, I would say, of health issues and behavioral issues in pigs. While some people feed their pigs too little in the hopes that they will keep them small, which is terrible, others may feed their pigs too much, which could make them obese, which can cause all kinds of other health issues, including fat blindness and even fat deafness. So feeding your pig the right amount of food and the right uh, kind of food is paramount. So I'm going to take you over here to show you what these guys are getting for breakfast today. So they have pig chow underneath this water and lettuce. I put a lot of water in their bowls. Pigs naturally do not drink a lot. Nobody knows exactly why, but they tend to get dehydrated easy. So in a way to make sure that they don't get dehydrated, I always fill their bowls with warm water with their pig chow. That allows the pig chow to expand. Look at Sylvester over there waiting. <laughs> it allows the pig chow to expand and to help them feel fuller. Pigs are always hungry, so they are going to be looking for food all the time. Pigs that are fed well will still be hungry, but they will be good pigs generally. Pigs that are starved to be kept small are always hungry, but not just hungry, they're actually starving. So that leads to a whole host of behavioral problems as well as health conditions. When you starve your pig, their organs still grow uh, to a normal size inside their bodies. They can actually have broken spines from the weight of their organs. It is horrific. So you want to make sure you do your research when feeding your pot belly pig. It is paramount that you do it right. Cookies, donuts, sweet treats, pastries, pasta, none of that has a place in the diet of your pot belly pig. Your pot belly pig's diet should consist of its pig chow. That should be the main thing that you give your pig. Like me, you can give them some leafy greens. Um, I do that uh, for breakfast. You can give them other vegetables as well, but really their pig chow is what is going to keep them healthy and satisfied. Pippin, the little one, he eats the same amount as the big guys. Uh, he's growing and he's busy and he burns through all those calories. So for babies, they need food. So I will leave a lot of information in this post in writing for you to read through, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what these guys eat. And I have to go now because everybody is very hungry, including our chickens. <laughs> so uh, until later, have a great day.